This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. Uh, it's a beautiful Tuesday. I'm back with entertainment with Becky here on Joy Prime on Multi TV. I'm so excited. Uh, it's a beautiful holiday. I'm having fun. Thanks to Vida A Cafe for giving us this beautiful place to talk entertainment from. And also to Emily Nyaku for my beautiful, beautiful dress. I'm very, very grateful for, you know, the beautiful things that you guys have been doing in my life. Thanks you uh, for sticking with us here. Please, I have a surprise for you. Please, please, please. It's a holiday. It's going to be fun. Please don't go away. I'll be back. If you guys join me, this is Entertainment with Becky Ewe Bex here on Joy Prime, your favorite entertainment channel in Ghana, across Ghana, across West Africa. And of course, this is what we do. We give you real entertainment on the show. Today, I have uh, the very beautiful uh, Sister Derby, uh, Deborah Vanessa, uh, to talk entertainment with. For those of you who don't know her, uh, she's a model. She doubles up as a musician. Uh, she has so many things she does. Today, we will be talking more on that. It's a holiday. Let's have fun on the show sister derby ghana <laughs> jalov hello what's up make you hit your chest like two whiskey cough as your party who is she move briskly because i'm too frisky drink one calico two biscuits some they think say i'll be too known but money on my mind so i day in my zone you know help me make them now it be too risky to give you a loan i don't live like a day london Coco, 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 you look so nice. Thank you. So do you. Is, is blonde the new craze now? No, I think um, baby pink is actually the new craze. Okay. But um, this hair that I'm wearing is new, so I wanted to rock the blonde first when it's tired <laughs> before I dye it pink. Okay, yes. so baby pink is what? what is it? Yeah, baby now? pink is in now. Actually, a lot of colors are in now, like bright green, um, baby pink, and lavender, light purple. How do you feel, you know, in all... Oh, I, I, I love colors, <laughs> okay. but to, uh, to have the color on my hair... <laughs> you feel like there's too much attention? You know, too much attention. Sometimes I forget what, what the color of my hair is, but um, I like to entertain. Okay. So it, it makes dressing up fun for me. Mm. Mm -hmm. we, we know Sister Derby. I like the name Sister Derby. It's so sexy <laughs> when you say Sister Derby. <laughs> I didn't think it was sexy. I thought it was uh, maybe fun, but yeah, people you say know. they like it. Uh, no, 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 it's, it's, it's fun. Like, you know, can you imagine your, your nickname, your AKA is Sister Derby. Sister Derby. Like, you're, you're still mentioning your name and you're slurring it in, in, in a way. Yes. Uh, we know you as a musician. I don't know uh, where the music is right now. We'll talk about that. Okay. Uh, you're a model. Uh, what else do you do? What else do we know Sister Derby for? Yeah, so, okay, I like to call myself an artist, okay. which, a musical artist, okay. and um, so I do music occasionally. I don't do, I don't drop music back to back, yeah. you know, let's say once in every three months or even less. And um, I also design clothes, very simple, practical clothes. I love using what we call African print. So, like, what I'm wearing now is one of my um, trademark okay. signature designs, which okay. is the mermaid leggings. Okay, okay. Yeah, the... The shape here is cut like a V, sure. the way mermaids have it. Yeah, you know, yeah. Just, mermaids are a myth, but yeah. yeah. And then, um, so I design clothes, and I also produce videos. So basically, all my music videos, I did produce production myself. So from styling to uh, finding the location to the concept to scouting the models or the extras, mm -hmm. I do all that. I really yeah. enjoy like um, putting artistic projects together. Yeah and um what else do i do sometimes i forget i act occasionally yeah you act yes yeah. so i love doing like comedy skits so okay. if you call me for a role and it's not a comedy it's not funny i might not be uh, you might not give in your all yeah it has to do with music or with comedy comedy yeah so i've i i featured in um because of money one and two yeah fantastic thank yeah, you I saw that. and then this uh, movie 1432 if i'm correct it was uh, also a musical film with young people okay and then um i've done like um short films for ramesh jai and um, seen the recent one with calibos yes yes this yeah. is actually me and calibos's 
third. Yeah. We did two before. One was never released, but one was one is on YouTube. Yeah. It's called Continental Breakfast, yeah. and I really enjoyed it. And then we did the recent one for Valentine. So I love doing comedy skits like that. And what else do I do? Um, <laughs> I don't really do call a myself a model, but I model. <laughs> I model. We, we, will, we will delve into that modeling part, but as okay. a creative person, yes. you know, we know that we have creative people in, in the industry. Mm -hmm. You are a model. I, I, I love to call you that because you have beautiful pictures out there. Thank you. Um, a musician, musician, fashion designer, fashion designer. what else? Actor. You are actor, an actor as actress, well. Yes, you yeah. know, so um, <laughs> we're wondering, do you make money from all these? Is this your like daily job that you do or you have other things that you do that you know earn to you money? Okay, so I do purely art and um, what I realized was when I started music and I was putting music videos out there, it helped with visibility for me and my brand. Okay. Now with that visibility, it um, in turn helps with popularity. Sure. So now with the popularity, that's when you get brands or companies approaching you mm. to advertise for them all right so i do a lot of that i do a lot of brand endorsements for brands uh -huh. um i do a lot of appearances at universities and most of them are linked with a brand so i have like three agencies that usually call me because they they say it's easy to work with me and then the youth can relate, relate to me yeah so i feel like they love the kind of videos i put out there because they are um they are not the normal, uh -huh. you know. And so that is how I make money through, um, mostly through brand endorsements. I've worked with Vodafone X, Tonaton, yeah. Verifi, which is a medical company, which was recent. I've worked with um, Telesol 4G Internet, where we are right now, Vida E Cafe, e Coco Lounge. So I do a lot of promotion for them, and I'm more like an influencer. Yeah. So, that is how I make money. But if I wasn't doing the music, music. if I wasn't doing, um, you know, promoting myself through social media, yeah. doing all that, I wouldn't be visible. Then I wouldn't be popular to get these, kind, these of kind of jobs. So yeah. that's how I make money. So it's helping. Oh yes, of You're course. Okay. Yes, please. Are you rich? I'm rich in talent. <laughs> 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 That's a good one. But uh, let's 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 talk about modeling. Recently, okay. you put a very nice picture <laughs> nice. out there. Well, I have to be nice. It's nice. It pays to be nice. Yeah. It's nice to be nice. I mean, so uh, I mean, what, what is the inspiration? Is it that okay? I have a very nice body. We know you have a very nice body. So oh, thank you. Let me flaunt it. You've added a very. She added a very from you. <laughs> you didn't add anything. Is is that the idea? You know. Yeah, okay, so um, I just felt like doing a semi-nude shoot. Okay. I say semi-nude because I've never gone fully nude. Fully nude, okay, yeah. So I just felt like doing one. I like creating, like doing, creating concepts that to challenge myself that I haven't done you, before. You, 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 I think you subtitled it, you said the Daughter of the Sun or something? Daughter of the Sun, F-O-K-N girl, Daughter okay. of the Sun. sun. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, so I said, oh, I wanted to do a semi-nude shoot. It's been a while, you know. Yeah. And I'm like, let me do it before the body starts getting wrinkled and things start hanging and flapping. <laughs> <laughs> and um, so that's also one of the reasons. Yeah, okay. you know, when, they say when you got it, you flaunt it. You so flaunt it. I've do one before, you know. Um, you, you don't fear, you know, the pu public outrage, people coming up at you. Why are you, you know, showing your body? We know that those are uh, linked to, those, those nude photos sometimes are linked to, uh, the Kardashians, you know, people from the western side of the country. I don't think it's linked to that. When I even saw my pictures, what came to my mind was Depot. Okay. It wasn't Kardashians because okay. I don't... The truth of the matter is I never copy. Some, most of the time I do things and then international celebrities do and all my friends send me DMs saying, Hey Debbie, you, you did this before. Hey Debbie, you don't belong in Ghana. They say such things because yeah. I do a lot of similar styling. I have a lot of similar ideas and great minds think alike. Mm. There's things, most things have already been done, but I'm the type of person that I don't copy. If you look at any of my videos, you can't tell me that you've seen it in a video before. Yeah. Like Sampanana, it was the first one take video that at least I know mm -hmm. of. We didn't copy anybody. We used what, I always use what I have. Yeah. And um, Bola video, you can't say you've seen it somewhere before. Ghana Jolo video, you can't say. So we, we just use um, the resources that we have, what is available, 
and we always um, make sure we represent where we are from and who we are because mm. if you are going to portray something else they've already seen it yeah what makes my uncle obama video special what made it special then we shot in kanishi yeah. we shot in ghana yeah so now when people in the u.s for instance see it they'll be intrigued because they don't have that kind of thing there yeah. they don't sell banana with granites like that yeah. you know that kind of On thing street, so yeah. me it's it's more economic it's more fun and it makes you use your creativity more when you use where you are and what you have mm. You will not appreciate it. We never appreciate it. It's, it's, a, it's human nature. We always want what we don't have or yeah. what we can't get. You know, people, people uh, go all the way to South Africa, <laughs> they fly out of the country <laughs> to shoot music yeah. videos. What, what do you make of that? I mean, if you can actually make videos here, uh, you know, use the environments that yeah. we have and yeah. still get people to appreciate that. Mm -hmm. But other people... Yes, it's because we don't... We now, we are not happy. We are not... Um, we don't believe in ourselves. We are not content with what we have? Yeah, no, we don't. We are not even proud of it, okay. most of us. So we feel like, yeah, and that's why, because when people do that, people watching will be like, hey, this one, they shot it abroad. When you, are, when you live in a country, you are from a country which is um, majorly poor, like there's a lot of poverty. Mm -hmm. People are thinking about food, shelter, and let me say, maybe sexual intercourse, yeah. more, you know, reproducing and that stuff. You don't even have money to buy food to eat. Why are you not always thinking about art? Like, when you say yeah. what do you say? Like, you're using yeah. recycled konko, things that they see as konko and things to go in. So that's why I never get personally offended when there's backlash and things, because I understand where people are coming from. And the way our upbringing is, you have to be timid, you are not allowed to speak out. Speak out. And that's most of everybody i'm just lucky because my mom is not Ghanaian and she doesn't have that kind of thinking and mentality yeah. she's a very free person that's how come we are also like that you know very honest and yeah. even though she's principled she's very free you know she speaks her mind but in a in a normal Ghanaian home very normal traditional one it's not like that so i understand where people are coming from so i don't take it personal so as long as i don't harm or hurt anybody, anybody. i don't feel any fear to not do or to do what I do. Do you get me? Yeah. So um, I believe in creativity and originality. But as I said, when when the country is drowning in poverty, people are not going to think of that. Think about, uh -huh. yeah. They are now thinking of, you know, the religious beliefs and, hey, hey, are you not afraid? Why did you go and do that? So, yeah, I hope I've answered you. Yeah, you have. Um, are you, would you go to heaven? Do you get that question a lot? Um, you know? Oh no, I never get that, but someone tweeted at me saying that eh, you would not go to, you would be in hell or something. I don't know, something of that nature. And I said, I don't believe in any of those. So okay. he's the one who is worried. I don't believe in heaven and hell. Okay. Yeah. Tell me about it. I should tell you about yeah, not believing. I, yeah. Okay, so I feel, I believe that when we die, it's the same feeling you felt before you were conceived. Okay. So you don't believe in heaven and hell? No. Wow, that's interesting. Yeah. How is your relationship <laughs> like with your brother? How does it feel like to be, you know, sister or one love the football? <laughs> He's such an interesting character. I mean, he was on the show the last time. We okay. had so much fun. He spoke about art and where we, we can take the arts okay. industry. Okay. Very interesting conversation. Mm -hmm. So I'm just wondering. Oh, we are. Um, we're like. I don't know if, yeah, I think normal brother and sister, we, are, we respect ourselves a lot, we respect each other. Um, I'm very proud of him. I learn a lot from him, a lot of important things in life from him, you know. He taught me a lot about um, plastic pollution, environmental pollution, he teaches me a lot about about everything, music, how to make yeah. music, um, about art and uh, about writing music yeah, so, so do you yeah. have him you know look through your uh, music oh of course he actually directs he directs how i record okay. he directs me so almost every song that i've put out there he directed unless it's a feature for someone and he's not around okay but i always make him check most often than not and um, even when I'm doing a music video and I have my concept, I always run it through him and be like, wow, this is dope. If he says it's dope, that means it's very dope. And then sometimes you add one or two inside. And some videos too, we build the concept together. So we work a lot creatively together 
And we are very close, you know, we support each other in every way. And um, yeah, it's a very nice relationship. Yeah, I can imagine. <laughs> very fun. You know, I can't, I'm, I mean, I'm in, in my head. And he I'm thinks I'm funny, so you can imagine. He thinks you yes. are funny, and we he think thinks, that he, he is funny. He thinks I'm the funniest. Oh, yes. Yeah, and he says I'm the most stubborn, so you can imagine. <laughs> is it just two, two of you? Um, yeah, so for my mom and dad, we are three. So it's okay. one love, then after two years, Francis, then after two years, me. Okay, so there's another Francis that we all don't know. Yes, yes. Oh, he's so not. He's more of an introvert. Yeah, he's not all over the place like no, the no, two. No, he doesn't like that. Two thing. stubborn, you know, brother and sister. Yes, he doesn't like that. He's into um, fitness and health. Okay. And then he's working like normal job. He's in Romania at the moment. Okay. Yes. Nice, yeah. interesting. Nice to know. Nice yeah, to know. Yeah. Uh, when are you getting married? Because oh, as, I don't know. As it stands now, we know that <laughs> you're not yet married. <laughs> I, I have no idea. But you're working on it? How do you work on that one? I don't know. I mean, it's styles, styles in the bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure that's also part of it. You know, um, recently it wasn't too. Yeah, I think mm -hmm. it's, it's about two, three weeks ago. Mm. Uh, Medical was in uh, uh, the, the studios of Hit FM. He was late, and then and he came to explain on live yeah. radio that. Well, he had issues with Sister Debbie. Yeah. He needed to explain to you mm -hmm. uh, a text message that you had seen mm -hmm, on mm -hmm. uh, his his phone. Yeah. And uh, I don't know what's up with that. Well, Is it true that you saw something like that? Oh, of course or I saw something. Or he's just he's just making it up. <laughs> he was making an excuse for being late. Yeah. Right? Oh no no, he won't go that far. No, um, like we've never. Um, had any issues since we started dating and it's almost two years now but a rumor was sparked okay so I had to do some investigation to shine my eye so it was a confrontation that had him a bit shook up because we've never had something like this before so that was what it was basically so that but we are we are cool we are, you're cold there's yeah. nothing but uh, when you hear all those things, all those mm -hmm. rumors, mm -hmm. I, I heard one. It wasn't about, a lot, it was just one particular one. one. Yeah. It, is it about the Fela McAfee issue? It was about that. Because yeah. that's the only rumor that I heard. How yeah. do you, sometimes, how do you feel about all those things? Okay, so what I feel is um, I knew in passing that they are friends, you know, and I don't have a problem with that. You can't, you don't, when you are dating someone, you don't control, like, hey, you can't, you don't do that, right? So I'm not the type of person that does that. So even once, um, when I knew he was going to an event of hers, someone had even snapchatted me, him hugging her and was like trying to report him. And I said, oh, that's his friend. He's friendly like that. And the person was even, I think, a bit ashamed. Yeah. He do to hold him down. Like, oh, forever. me. Because I, you're not in this, I'm sure mm -hmm. that you're not in the relationship just to have fun. Oh, no, no, yeah. no, 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 no. I mean, yes, you, you're yes. looking at getting somewhere with the relationship. Yeah, So if yeah. you're not looking at getting it somewhere, then you might as well just leave the relationship. Yeah. To so you must be doing something to be holding him down. You wouldn't have confronted him if you weren't, you know, very serious about the whole thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, I mean, I am serious about the whole thing. And the thing is that... I mean, he approached me and said he wanted to be together and then he wants to, according to him, he wants to spend the rest of his life with me. Yeah. So we are just waiting. I know with guys, usually they want to be financially okay in a certain yeah, way. You know, he's that type of person who always wants to be comfortable and okay. So um, I'm not really stressing about that because um, I know he's a very good person. So um, that's one of the things that made me accept his dating proposal. He's very um, kind, very respectful. He's never disrespected me. Um, he's very ambitious and hardworking. And he's a good person, you know, all in all. So, yeah, and your family yeah. likes him a lot. Yes, yes, yes. I know yes. one love is all over the place. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm going to feature men, so I'm going to feature medical. I mean, it's like always. Yeah, yeah, one love, one love likes him, so that's a plus for him. And even though my mom hasn't met him, she likes him. So I think one day I asked her, ah, but you cry, why is it that already you are calling him my son, my son? Because my mom never does that. She's like, oh, you, anyone you date, be the person is annoying and irritating. But I haven't heard this from you and medical. So I'm like, oh, okay, okay then. Because I didn't realize I even did that. Uh huh, so yeah. So it means that it's a good sign. I think, I guess so. <laughs> what, what makes you angry? Um, what can get you up there? Like I've had it. Let me just 
tell them something? <laughs> um, there's two things, I think, mainly. So one is when a person is lying to me, I hardly lie. I like, I don't lie. I make sure I do things or don't do things that will put me in a situation where I have to lie. So I avoid that. So I, I don't lie. Um, so if you're lying to me and I know you are lying, and I'm even letting you know how I know you are lying, and you are still forcing, and I start feeling ashamed for you or yeah, it, it gets me very angry when you are lying. And, um, and you don't know how to lie to. Yeah, when you don't know how to tell lie to. Lies. Yeah. <laughs> so that's one. That that's one. But unless it's an important issue, otherwise I just leave it, I yeah. think. Um, another thing is when people don't, don't have in-depth knowledge of a topic and they try to argue with you, but they don't even argue properly. They... They, um, they just maybe condemn your point or use their personal feeling or anger to condemn the points but they don't have enough knowledge about it and also they attack the points with negativity or with a bad mind not even with a good mind I don't like those kind of things yes yeah, that's I'm, mainly it I'm, I'm, I'm asking because I felt kind of felt your anger during a Twitter, uh, Twitter spree okay between some guy I can't remember his name you know what was it about uh, he, he was uh, I, I think um, was I you uh -huh. about uh, how you dated some musicians and it wasn't uh, the, it got their uh, music career in and oh wow that. okay i think oh, i've yeah. seen that on, yeah i think i've seen that on social media and you came back to uh, what did i say i i can't remember it is, it, that's why i'm asking whether you you know i haven't felt that part oh i don't i don't know what i said then but i was probably sarcastic i usually answer yeah. with sarcasm but but when I, you hear all those things i mean how does it make you feel oh it, i feel pity for such people i find them stupid yeah, because it's not true. Yeah. If it's true, we'll talk about it. But when it's not true, it's just annoying. Like, like most of the hate has started coming when I started dating medical. And I understand the young guys who do that. They wish they were in his place, honestly. Because he's young, he's making money, he's successful. He has a lot of love from the streets. And he's dating me. Hello. Hello, Za. Flip the hair, girl. <laughs> She's a queen. I'm so sorry, <laughs> That's a queen. That's a queen. <laughs> but yeah. No, no, that's the truth. So I don't even take it personal. But they just expose their... Um, Ignorance. Well, that's on a, on a different issue. They just expose their jealousy. Okay. Because the hits started coming more when I started dating medical. And it's just because... Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Because it comes a lot from guys. So how, why? Do you get me? So it's because of him. Yeah. How does he feel about that? Well, as for him, he ignores everything. So I don't even talk to him about certain because he doesn't like hearing negativity because he, he ignores or all. Forgets everybody. That's his motto. Yeah, forget So he there. doesn't. Yeah. Not that he'll brush it off. He'll just say, oh, wait there. Yeah, you're in Komona. Like, I'm not interested in this in Komona. So I don't. We never even talk about such things. He sees me defending him and fighting on Twitter. Yeah. <laughs> I don't say anything. You know? <laughs> I'm like, I'm hey, did you just... see that? He's like, mm, I see him. Oh. <laughs> That's it. Wow, yeah. you should, you must you must be a very strong person inside. Probably, probably. Yeah, because yeah. I don't know, I don't yeah. know how. My mom used to say, "Hey, she doesn't know where I, where I got my yeah. strength from." <laughs> because I, I can't imagine personally. I can't imagine myself being pop up, uh, trolled on social media and oh. sleep. I can't sleep. <laughs> I'll probably go and <laughs> drink some. You see, it's different when what they are saying are true facts. Okay. That's why I said I always make sure whatever I do, I think about it well. Yeah. And then I make sure it's something that I don't need to lie about later. Especially yeah. if it's a public something. Uh -huh. So, yeah. You just, once you do something, just make sure you know what you're doing. And then you can defend yourself, you know. What are you up to though? I mean, okay, so at the it's moment, 20, 18, 18, going to yeah. the middle of 2018. Yeah, so um, I think... This is exclusive to TV, but might not be exclusive to newspaper. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so I'm, I'm about to release a song where I featured Ifia. Oh, and I'm very excited my because... My two favorite people oh, yes. to you, Can you imagine? Ifia. So this is like a sign. Because oh. I really admire Ifia, yeah. her talent, everything. And we're not that close, but I really admire her. 
and um, I'm excited because I think it's no, I think it is the first female I'm featuring on okay. the song. Okay. And why if ya? If you're just more of collaboration with One Love. That's uh, why you know everything. You use like you're in One Love's yeah, uh, studio. Come. I was going to say bedroom, but I said studio. <laughs> come, I can only be in this job. <laughs> yeah. So what happened was. Um, so I was, look, I was thinking of someone to feature, right? And I had gone to One Love's place, the studio, and he mentioned that, oh, if I was here the other day to drop a verse on his song, his, he has a song called Atom Pan, okay. something like that. And I'm like, ah, if I was here, oh, can you get if had to do a verse on my song for me? He's like, oh, yeah, yeah, sure, why not? Ah, the following day or like next two days, he sends me my song. I'm like, oh, I already have my song. So I was just gonna leave it. I'm like, oh, Mikra, let me refresh my memory. Let me listen to the song again. So I was listening, listening. In fact, I was in the bathroom doing number two. <laughs> so I was listening, listening. Ah, then I heard some voice. I was like, ooh, some goosebumps. I'm like, oh my God, a fear is on the song. Like she had already done her she best. She did it and he sent it to And you. he didn't say anything, just sent the song. So I was about okay. to not listen. I was like, oh, I'm not doing anything. Yeah, let so listen. let me just listen. That so it was, a, a it was a lovely surprise. Um, mm. But we are reworking re on the beats, but it's almost done. Okay. So I'm going to release it very soon. And it will be a video. I'll release the video a bit later because later. people are giving me pressure that I've shared with the song. Yeah, what's coming to that? Like, oh, yeah. she's doing music. Has she stopped doing music? What's up with Sister Derby's music? Ghana Jollof. Ghana Jollof. <laughs> Yummy. As a Ghana Jollof, I did Sampa Nana with Medical yeah. and then I released Never Leave You. That was actually yeah. one love song which I refixed. Okay. okay. Never Leave You. It's a love song. So the good yeah. news here is your. Um, releasing, releasing a song, a song with, with Ifia, Ifia. and it's called Pure Water. Uh, <laughs> okay. and, and look forward to the song Pure Water by Sister Deborah featuring and Ifia. Ifia, my two favorite people. <laughs> I mean that song. I can't wait to, to, to hear that song. Sister Debbie, would you would you mind you know closing the show? It's a holiday. Mm -hmm. It's our show. Yeah. You've been very very you know exciting on the show. I hope that. Um, everything that you need to know or you know finances to have been answered by your truly sister Debbie and you know we should have you some other time on the show <laughs> when the song is and released maybe when the video is released so when you the have video, the video yeah, to, to show to us well yes. but we still have pictures of these two so we're still gonna play it right here <laughs> on the show um yeah thanks for watching it's been lovely fun and exciting with this beautiful lady Becky and happy workers day to all workers out there keep working hard but also remember to work smart and if you have a special dream you want to carry out and work maintain your normal job and just build that dream on the side you don't have to leave your normal job um, a regular job is also necessary to pay the bills uh -huh. happy holiday happy holidays everybody <laughs> we'll be back next week for another exciting edition of Ewe Bex. we're out